Welcome in, Laker fans, to FaceTime Friday, Episode 8. I'm your host, Jack Angelucci, and let's meet our student-athlete panel for this week. Hi, my name is Hannah Ballstake. I play on the women's volleyball team. I'm a junior. My major is Early Childhood Special Ed, and I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'm Reed Marlowe. I'm on the men's lightweight rowing team. I uh, major in finance and business intelligence, and I'm from Houston, te Houston Texas. I'm Megan Kilmartin. I'm on the Mercyhurst heavyweight women's rowing team. I'm from Rochester, New York. I'm a junior, and I'm a forensic science major. Well, first off, guys, uh, thank you for joining me for this episode of FaceTime Friday. Uh, starting off, um, Reed, starting with you, uh, just talk a little bit about you know, kind of your selection process and choosing Mercyhurst. Uh, obviously, you know, being from Texas, quite a haul up to up to Erie. But what went into that selection uh, with you you choosing Mercyhurst? So a big part of it at first was uh, the rowing team. Not many teams have a rowing team. Not many schools have a rowing team. So that was like the pretty unique for, unique thing for me, especially lightweight rowing. So I was contacted by the coaches, and I was like, "What the heck is a Mercyhurst?" So <laughs> I uh, checked it out. And then I saw they had the Intel major, and I like the small school. And I went up and visited my senior year in the fall. I just loved it, and I regretted it ever since. Megan, what was that process like for you? Um, for me, it was the rowing team and uh, the forensic science program. It was the only school that had both, so it was like the perfect place for me to go. Anna, if you want to talk a little bit about your recruiting process and your you choosing Mercier's. Yeah, so I, my brother put together a bunch of videos for me. Luckily, he also played in the States, so that also took a lot um, like part in me wanting to play volleyball in America. So he put a bunch of videos together, and uh, Mercy Earth had my program, and it was like a small school family feeling, which I really liked. And then, you know, guys, obviously looking ahead to next year, uh, Megan, we'll start with you for this one. So heading into next season, what are kind of the focuses for yourself individually first and then also for you guys as a team looking looking ahead to, to next season? Um, personally, since it'll be my last year, is to just really, really get into it and really give it my best and kind of get some personal records. Um, but for the team aspect, I would say it would be to definitely – go to head of the Charles and do really well. It's a really big uh, regatta that's really important worldwide. Hannah, what's what's the goal for you guys heading into next year as well as yourself individually? What What's the focus there? Um, I think our focus is really rebuilding and making a really strong connection with our players. We have a lot of incoming freshmen, which I'm really excited to see all the new players and build a strong bond, like a big family culture and really instilling that in the younger and freshmen class but I think overall um, we really just want to push getting into the playoffs which will be big and getting some wins under our belt. Reed how about you? So mine's pretty similar with Megan's. Um, we had a really fast team this year so we're really disappointed that we weren't able to compete um, and our major big team focus is always just be in Ivy Leagues. That's always like our big goal for the year is just being in Ivy Leagues and doing the best as we can and I think my uh, personal goals are more in line with all the team as well is just staying fit throughout the summer even though we're not together, you know, just staying fit and in shape, even though we're not able to just train together. So I don't appreciate that goes for all athletes as well. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing that we've heard from a lot of, a lot of teams is pushing each other, you know, even though a lot of it's done remotely, uh, staying in touch and pushing each other. Um, so outside of sports, Hannah, we'll start with you for this one. What, what are, what are some things you have on tap for this summer that you're planning on doing um, outside of, you know, just the normal working out stuff like that? Uh, well, right now I'm down in Florida. I'm not home right now, so I'm fortunate enough to spend time with my boyfriend and his family, and we've been doing a lot of uh, projects, a lot of DIY projects. We're building like a bed frame, and we've been focusing on that, and we both work out together, and then we can spend some time and catching up on some Netflix series, I think, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I bet a lot of people are doing, doing mm -hmm. that, that type of stuff uh, this time of this time of uh, coronavirus and everything. Reed, what, what are your plans entailing for this summer? Uh, so I uh, actually work at a chemical company in Houston. I do a financial planning and analysis for them as an intern. And I'm pretty lucky to still have my internship, even though a lot of them were canceled and stuff. So I'm really fortunate to be able to still work there. 
it's part of the reason I still have my college shirt on and stuff. So I work about seven to six there every day, Monday through Friday. So it's a really good opportunity. And then I just have to find time outside of that to be able to train and work out and stuff. Very cool. Megan? Um, I was supposed to have an internship this summer, um, but it's not happening because of the COVID stuff. So right now I'm doing an online class uh, at Mercyhurst and then just kind of helping my parents around the house and doing whatever needs to be done. Gotcha. Um, so guys, looking once again, looking forward to next uh, next year. Um, Megan, what are you looking forward most to returning to, tam- to campus in the fall? I would say I am most looking forward to being with everybody again. Um, it was very different going online with the classes because you're used to having everybody there and you're used to having your teammates there and like your friends. So um, I'm really looking forward to having that that bonding with with everybody again. Anna? Um, I'd say the same thing and like having a routine. I'm used to like getting up at a certain time and like going to classes and then having volleyball and not having that is kind of a little bit difficult, but you know, getting used to it. Yeah, that's what we heard from a lot of people is getting back to that routine and everything um reed what are you looking forward to most about hopefully returning in the fall uh, i think you kind of said like they all said it but also hopefully returning you know we don't really know at this point but hopefully we are returning so uh but like they said you know just being with my friends and stuff but social media has kept it in, kept us in close contact as of now but uh you know just like actually being in the classroom not having to do microsoft teams chats for classes having to hear uh, professor yalson dog uh talk over the facetime so all no right. offense, the awesome dog. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, to uh, end things off, we're going to do a bit of a rapid fire segment. So um, starting off, Reed, we're going to put you on the spot for this first one. Um, favorite TV show? Oh, gosh. I just started watching Billions. Okay. All right. I've heard good things about that. Yeah. Anna? Uh, right now I'm watching Prison Break. And Megan? I would say Psych is my favorite. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Um, Megan, what advice would you give uh, to freshman student athletes now having been um, through through a couple years in school? Um, I would say just keep doing your best. Make sure you're having fun and make sure you really find the balance between everything. Reed? Do workouts you enjoy right now because the workouts you do at school, you most likely won't enjoy that much. <laughs> Hannah? I'm going to say enjoy every moment. All right, Hannah, we'll start with you for this next one. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would you choose and why? Uh, I think I'd pick teleportation because then I could just pop over to the beach like whenever I want when it's snowing back home and get a little bit of sun. <laughs> I like that. That's what, that's what I would choose, too. I like that. Um, Reed? Be able to pause time so I can get more than 12 hours in a day and get more time on a test or something like that, you know? I like it. I like it. Megan? Um, I would say flying because I think it'd be really cool to see the world from a different perspective. Right. I, I like that one, too. I don't know. For me, I'd be, I'd be in between either teleportation or, or flying. Um, Reed, this last one, we're we'll starting off with you. So, like, what is your biggest, like, like fear that you have? This is, like, it just came up. I have a fear of flying now. I just flew last <laughs> weekend to see my girlfriend. Uh-huh. And I was, like, on this little plane. And, I, I like, there's turbulence. And I, I, like, don't like flying now. So. <laughs> Megan? Uh, my biggest fear is spiders. I have, like, a panic attack when I see them. <laughs> yeah, so that's, pretty, that's a common one, I feel like. Uh, Hannah? I'd say spider and snakes. <laughs> okay, all right. So the spider is definitely a big no-go for you guys, at least. Again. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you joining us uh, for FaceTime Friday, Episode 8. And Laker fans, make sure you continue to tune in every Friday for FaceTime Friday here on Hearst Athletics. Jack Angelucci signing off, and go Lakers.